Leicester's batsmen fared better than in their first county match of the season as they kept themselves in touch with visitors Kent on the second day of their LV County Championship match at Grace Road. The day began with Leicester responding to Kent's 406 all-out made on the first day, a day filled with boundary shots. Leicester's own attempts with the bat were a little less fluent but no less effective with openers Niall O'Brien and Michael Thornley making steady progress from the start. This may only be the second match of the season, but given Leicestershire's batting frailties in their first innings at Hampshire last week, when they were faced with a similar score from the opposition, this was an important start from these two. Crucially, they protected their teammates by just about seeing the shine off the new ball, with an opening partnership of 53 in 19 overs. This was a special moment for Callum Haggart, although his reaction doesn't really show that. When Thorny drove him to Sam Northeast on 22, it gave Haggett his maiden first-class wicket. O'Brien kept plugging away and helped himself to a 90-ball half-century with this shot. A nice start for the Irish keeper who was making his home debut following his move up the M1 from Northampton in the winter. He'd been steady, striking seven fours at his 50. He'd been joined by Ned Eckersley, two wicket-keepers at the crease together, emphasising Leicester's strengths in that department. Eckersley has the opportunity to make a name for himself this season at number three. He batted brilliantly in making an undefeated 99 at the Aegeus Bowl last week, only denied his third first-class ton by the weather. He also looked in very good touch here, taking his side into the afternoon session still with only one man down. A shower took the players off and when play resumed, Kent had a good spell with the ball. Haggart struck again to have Eckersley caught behind for an eye-catching 46. And the 22-year-old did it again in his next over to end O'Brien's resistance as he nicked a cut to James Treadwell after making 63. And when Mark Davis then completely foxed Josh Cobb on 8, Leicestershire had slipped from 133 for 1 to 155 for 4 in the space of 7 overs. To avoid following on for the second match running, Leicestershire needed to reach 257, so there was still much work to be done for the middle order. But Matt Boyce and Ramnaresh Sarwan importantly got their heads down to dig their side out of possible trouble. Sarwan did have a massive moment of fortune though. Charlie Shrek found the edge but the ball somehow found the gap between first and second slip. Another rain delay after tea didn't affect either Sarwan's nor Boyce's concentration and before too long this pair had earned their side their first batting bonus point of this campaign. It does often seem that Leicestershire's batting fortunes rely on the experienced Sarwan, who in his earlier days was regarded as one of the greats. He certainly looked the part here as more boundaries were found. Kent struck 51 fours and two sixes on the first day, and the home side responded very well with 42 fours of their own on this day. Sarwan producing some strokes of real elegance as Leicestershire looked to end the day strongly. With the second new ball approaching, this was becoming an important period of this game. Sarwan stuck to his task brilliantly and his ninth four took into his 50, the 102nd time he got that far in the first class game. He needed 91 balls for this one. Boyce matched his captain shot for shot as this pair closed in on a crucial century stand. And the left-hander also reached his half century before the close with a three off Treadwell. It was a timely innings from Boyce, a player with plenty of talent, but one who's failed to be as consistent as perhaps he could be. His career average spanning eight seasons is still on the wrong side of 30, but he did well in here going on to his 50 from 104 balls, nine of which have brought in boundaries. But it was Kent who finished the day on a high, as with the final ball, Stevens induced the edge from Sarwan with Geraint Jones tidying up behind. The West Indian was out for 54 to end a stand of 95. Still, in spite of that, Leicestershire will still be pleased with their efforts. Having reached 250 for five, any threat of a second follow-on this season has been extinguished. They will resume on day three, still 156 runs behind, with Boy still there on 53.